Hello, Ralph the Bellow back for the legendary Carmine Caruso trumpet lessons. So today is not so much of a lesson as to try to clear something up. I've been asked if it's true or not that Carmine Caruso gave lessons from a clarinet book. So let's try to clear up if that's fact or fiction and I'll give you what information I have and we'll try to come to a conclusion. I know what the answer is. But let me show you and you can decide for yourself. So first let me show you this. This is the clarinet book that Legend has that he used. This is the title of it. The Bethany Behrman Clarinet Method. Carl Behrman Jr. Uh, that's the uh, cover of the book. Uh, I'll show you the inside shortly. Uh, so let me show you uh, whether this is true that he taught from this book or not. So first thing I want to show you is this. This is a book I used to use when I used to take lessons from Carmen Caruso. So that was my legitimate ledger book. Let me open it up and show you. I hope we can see it. Uh, right over here, it says Beerman, and some of the pages are some of the lessons, the uh, the, the lessons numbers, and uh, and that was the true one on a lot of the. Uh, every week we we actually uh, he used to give me lessons from this book. There's another page, and it says Beerman, so you know that. I have that. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a couple pictures. So there's the, the book cover, and here is me with Carmine Caruso actually giving me a lesson from that book. So if you look, there's me, Caruso, and there is this book here, right there. That is that book. If you, you gotta kind of look because the picture is not 100% clear, but you can see. There's the black, and there's the clarinet coming down, the name. There it is. And I'll give you a little closer close-up. A little closer. A little hard to read the writing because, you know, picture's not 100% clear. But uh, I think that's your proof that he taught from that book. There it is. Can't dispute it. So, was it a myth? Was it Was real? Well, it was real. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the book and and show you why he taught from that book, and and I think we'll play we'll play one of the one of the uh, one of the lessons out of that book. Okay, let's open this book up to the first lesson. So this book is mostly comprised of arpeggios and scales, major and minor. Uh, the reason he used to like to teach from this because you know it, it uh, stretched the boundaries of the uh, of you know what we normally do as a trumpet player, and it would take us from the lower notes and you know into the high register, but it will also take us all the way down. Uh, for instance, over here it goes A G F down to E, which is below the the trumpet range, the normal trumpet range. And then it comes all the way back up and down. And then at the end there's an arpeggio from C. <clears throat> then it goes all the way back up to double high C. So, and the reason uh, he used to like this because it forced you to do the whole thing uh, without moving or, you know, moving your, uh, your embouchure around. So you would start this and you would try to keep the same setting and do the whole thing. And uh, he, used to, he used to, you know, tell me that the low notes, a lot of times, the low notes would set the, set the stage for the high notes. So, <clears throat> this was a great book. And, uh, you know, if you have a little trouble with the minor scales, and just work on them separately. But uh, let's do the, the very first one, which is probably, you know, one of the hard ones to do in the book, really, for a trumpet player. Because of, the, you know, the, the range. Okay, I hope you're liking this so far. Let's do this one. Thank you. 
Well, that was the first exercise. I'm the first to admit that that was not perfect, but I did the best I can at the time. Sometimes I do them and they come out better, sometimes they don't even come out at all. So the exercises are extremely hard. Uh, I wouldn't kill myself doing them, I would just do them in your range. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's September 11, 2020. And um, I'll be back making uh, some more, more Carmack Russo teaching videos. He also taught some from some other books that we'll, we'll go over those. And a lot of exercises that, uh, that he gave me that probably aren't written. You won't see written down anywhere. So I hope you enjoyed my, my video. Ralph Devella from Trump Entertainment here. And I hope to see you again uh, in October sometime. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it.